Oh, hey, Doc, I have a quick question for you. Is there anything you can do to stretch my stomach ten times its size? What are you, crazy? Just temporarily. I'm gonna be in a hot dog eating contest at the fair this weekend. Okay, give me a couple laps so I can see what I'm working with. Go. Uh, uh, uh. How do I look? Like a woman wearing high heels carrying a purse. <sighs> How far did I go? Like 10 feet. How many feet are in a marathon? Like 137,000. Hi, guys. There he goes, the hunk. I'll never beat that jock. What a stud. What a dependable, smart stud. Well, if I can't stretch my stomach with surgery, I'm gonna have to do it the old-fashioned way, by gorging myself. You're not gonna listen to your doctor? He's not my doctor, he's yours. Sure, I've gone to him for the occasional cosmetic procedure, but even then I had him send you the bill. Why do you want to win a hot dog eating contest? That is the dumbest question I have ever heard in my life. How about a lifetime supply of hot dogs, a custom-made satin jacket, and for one year, the great honor of being called Mr. Wiener. Does that answer your question? We're here. Where? Able to the seminar. You said you'd get go with me. We Blunk, renowned and motivational speaker. His first book, Able to Walking Through Fire, kept me going when I lost my accounting job. It's what motivated me to take up a catering. You're saying you need someone else to motivate you? <laughs> that is so weak. We parked so far away. I don't think I can make it to the entrance. Mm. Of course you can. You really think so? I believe in you. All right, but just keep motivating me. Uh, you, you can do it. Oh. You can do it. Uh. Almost there. <coughs> yes! Five hot dogs. And they're staying down. They better. Well, all I have to do now is figure out how I'm gonna cram 57 more down my gullet. I gotta stretch this dude out. I can't believe you're doing all this for a stupid satin jacket and so people can call you Mr. Wiener. Well, truth be told, there's another reason. It's my legacy. It all started with my great-grandfather, Dipsy Duck. He ate 54 huckleberry pies in a pie-eating contest and won a horse-drawn carriage. Then there was my grandfather, Doofus Duck. He ate 112 corn cobs in a corn cob eating contest and won a Model T. And then there was my father, Dummy Duck. He ate 14 buckets of fried chicken in a fried chicken eating contest and won a school bus. He still drives it to this day. Now do you understand why I have to win? Do any of the guys in your family have normal names? Like David or Doug? I have a cousin named Dimwit Duck. Look, Tina, the point is, I have to win so I don't go down in history as the only duck who didn't win a contest by gorging himself on carnival food. And also, I really want that satin jacket. Hell. Let's cut it back! Are uh, you able to be ready to change your life? Let's get one thing straight, bub. I'm only here for free coffee. This hokum only works on weak-minded suckers like you. Whoa! That was amazing! I'm a changed man. I can't believe it took so long to see the light! I'm excited to eat, read his new book. He's going to spread those wings and fly. I can't wait to fly. I mean, I've always been a little afraid of it, but like Weeb says, it's now or never. I'm going to sign up today. If, if for what? Flying lessons. Daffy, I think you're taking the title of the book too literally. What are you talking about? He must have said the word fly about a hundred times in there. Fly means fly, which is exactly what I'm going to do. You mean like... Porky, I've told you I'm not that kind of duck. I'm gonna get my pilot's license. I've already got a driver's license and a cosmetology license. That's two of the big five licenses. The big five licenses? Driver's license, cosmetology license, pilot's license, fishing license, and 
License to Kill. I can't wait to get that one. Now get out of my way. I never want to see you again. Hey, well, you the what? Well, at least for a while. We've said to get rid of any friends or family who don't support you. Those people are toxic, like mold. You're mold, Porky. You've been here this whole time, slowly killing me. I need that you do support you. I need that you just think spread those wings and fly is a metaphor. Really? For what? Evil, you're finding the courage to pursue your dreams. Evil, you're listening to your inner voice. Having the uh, confidence to uh, try something new. Evil, you take risks. Evil, you live boldly. You are so dumb. Dumb and toxic. <laughs> There's no way my stomach's big enough to eat all these. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the 35th annual Mr. Wiener Hot Dog Eating Contest. Uh, that satin jacket is mine. On your mark, get set, go! Okay, let's see here. Today you did three jumping jacks, one sit-up, and half a push-up. Well, that's better than yesterday. What are you drinking? Energy drink. Gotta replace my electrolytes. It's root beer! Man, you gotta be serious about your nutrition. You gotta think of your body as a machine. Nutrition is the fuel. What's a typical day of food for you? Well, I start with a sensible breakfast. What? A bunch of powdered sugar on a hot dog. That's not sensible, that is insensible. What about lunch? Usually turkey sandwich on wheat. Okay, that's pretty good. I just deep fry that sucker and dump a bunch of powdered sugar on top. <laughs> I'm scared to ask what you eat for dinner. I like a big dinner. Helps me sleep. I'll take a casserole dish or something big and deep. Pour about two inches of powdered sugar in there, a rack of baby back ribs, a layer of marshmallows, more powdered sugar till it's about yay high. Throw that dude in the microwave for about 45 minutes. Sprinkle with powdered sugar and serve. <laughs> That's what you eat for dinner. Well, I supplement throughout the day with these protein bars. That's a tube of cookie dough. <laughs> Look at him go. Look at that commitment. That's why he's the buffoon. <laughs> I told them not to enter that hot dog eating contest. I told them. Unbelievable! They're stripping me of my title because they said I cheated. I'm not allowed to call myself Mr. Wiener. I'll call you Mr. Wiener. Thanks. That's why you're my best friend. Don't tell Yosemite that. 